Hello and welcome for another quick tutorial today about bar charts. Today we're going to learn how to design this one. Pretty straightforward, right? This is the result of uh, an election. I picked uh, France 2022 presidential election and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to prepare the information and uh, so let's let's look at it. Um, as a base, I've, uh, I've decided to pick this uh, graph as a reference which presents the result of the election, the first round, uh, presenting the result per candidate, but also with the abstention. And I think it's pretty interesting to look at it uh, with the abstention reported as well. Um, but we're not going to work from this one, which is from uh, France Info. We're going to get the raw data from the Ministry of Interior website. And it, there it is, it provides um, yeah, a bunch of numbers. There is the absolute numbers of votes per candidate. There is the registered voters, the cast voters. So we're gonna work with this. I've copy paste this data right here to prepare our numbers. So for this tutorial, we're gonna work with the registered voters percentage. Uh, and here they provide it already, the French Ministry of Interior. But let's say we don't have it. I just want to show you how you would uh, you could get this one again. It's it's pretty simple. You would just use a cross multiplication uh, thing. Let's just put this on the side. So you would do a simple cross multiplication. Take it this data per 100 divide per that number. I'm gonna report it just so the poof. And yeah, as you can see, we get the same result. And uh, oh, it actually suggests the autofill, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to do yes. You could also copy paste this. And as we can see, we get the same result, 1582, etc. Et so that's that's how you, you could like, uh, yeah, prepare your data before doing your graph. So as I said, we're going to work only with the candidates who do more than 5%. So let's just put these guys in gray. And yeah, we are good to go. So let's go into After Effects. So I'm going to do a new composition. Boom. You can also do a file new composition. I'm going to call that bar chart one version one. Uh, nice. I'm going to right away save my project in my folder project. I do the same structure as in the other tutorial. And let's do bar chart version one. Oof. And I'm good to go. I'm going to also do a structure right here, comps, which is actually the only one we're going to need, but we're not going to have any external asset on this one. So, but anyway, okay, we are good to go. So let's look at our reference. So we're going to start by building the, yeah, the core engine, like the bars, and we'll do the titles uh, a bit later. So let's first do, let's do a background because we're going to work with um, a bright background, pretty much like this. Let's write background. Okay, so that's fine. And let's lock it so there is no, yeah, uh, it doesn't disturb. So I'm gonna show you my technique. And me, what I do basically to, when it comes to percentage, I usually start by doing a bar, a kind of reference bar that, that we, I'm not gonna use at the end, which is gonna be my reference because this bar that I've just created, for example, if I come here and I press S scale, you can see there is that bar, even though it has a size, which is uh, something, it, uh, it also, I can also control it with the scale right here and it's in percentage. So if I put the anchor point at the right position, right here at the bottom, I press command just to make sure it stick to the zero position, as you can see, I can control the scale of it with a percentage. So that's great. This is exactly how we're going to do. So we can then the idea is going to be to duplicate this guy and we can do whatever number we want. This is 25% of this. And that's, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty effective. And this is usually how I make up my bar charts. So let's, let's build this. So I'm going to call this reference bar. So we're going to make our five columns. So I'm not going to, I'm going to duplicate the reference bar, push this a bit away. And let's say we're going to do 
colon one, which is the abstention. And we're going to do the first, which is 2631. So I'm going to press S, 26.31, boom. That's the first one. I'm going to make the second one directly. Let's rename it. This is Macron. And, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Shift and go press the right arrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this thing, eight, pressing eight times the, the right arrow is going to be my base for the next ones. So I can do it again. Rename it three. Uh, Le Pen, shift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom, that's the exact same spacing between these two guys. So then very quickly we can make something proportional uh, with, just with these uh, quick shortcuts. Let's do it again. Boom. Perfect. Now we can put the numbers. So. Uh, Next one is, yeah, let's take it from here. Uh, Macron is 20.07. Macron 20.07. Nice, okay, so we have designed the bars. Let's look at our reference. Uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, for now, the reference, I'm gonna just disable it, just so it's clear and... Uh, and in order to move forward in our design, I'm going to attach all these guys to a null object that I'm going to call guide. I'm going to put it pretty much a little bit in the middle, just for roughly. And I'm going to attach all my bars to it. So I can use this as a guide. I can scale it and it's going to scale the whole thing, you know. And I'm going to open the proportional grid and I'm going to center this. Uh, tac tac a bit more uh, so to if you want to know yeah there is five columns so basically if we center the middle column we should be fine in terms of uh, positioning yeah that looks pretty good yeah let's disable the this is just the the marker of the null object I'm going to disable it for clarity um, let's do the colors first maybe so for the example, I put this gray, orange, blue, reddish, and black. So let's change the color right here. Okay, that works for, for the example. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, okay, <clears throat> next thing, I'm going to do the, the lines, maybe. The lines and the, the reference percentage. So. I'm gonna put a color different on these guys. Let's put uh, let's put like this in pitch, for example. And to make the first, let's start by doing the bottom line. So to do it, I'm gonna take the pen tool, come here, make sure you don't select anything, click one, press shift, click here, and it's gonna make a straight line. Uh, and we don't see anything. Why? Because my preset weren't set properly. The, the preset selected is fill and stroke, so I'm, it's okay, we can still fix it. Uh, I'm going to develop this content, sh develop the shape. I'm going to turn on the, sh the stroke because this is what we want and turn off the fill because we don't, this is not what we want. And I'm going to put this in dark gray or something like this. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's center it same. I'm going to looking, I'm looking at this and put it in the middle. Like that's pretty much it. We should normally make the a nice amount of spacing. It looks like a bit off for some reason. I don't know why, but it's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's make it this slightly thicker. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we can. I think in my example I made it more gray, but yeah, that kind of work like this. Like the, of course, this you need to change depending on your visual identity. Uh, yeah, this is a different, a bit of a different topic. Um, and I'm gonna directly make a text, and I'm gonna put zero percent because it's the zero line. And to make it easier, I'm gonna make sure I put this like at the right position. I'm gonna align this to the right so it kind of 
lock to the base, I'm gonna zoom with Command Plus. And I'm gonna bring this in the middle at the right position here. So I put it I align on the right because as you can see, when we're gonna duplicate that to make the other lines, it's gonna be much easier. So and let's do the next lines. So every 10% I make a line. So now how do you position that? This is where I'm going to use my reference bar. I'm going to turn it back on again. Let's put it, change the color now because it's a bit confusing again. Let's put it pink so we don't, yeah, there is no confusion. I'm going to scale this at 10%. So then I can come right here and duplicate my bar and put it, let's zoom, and put it at the same level. Let's put a reference to be very precise like this. Yeah, I think we are pretty good right here. So I can now rename this and boom, 10%. And there we are, the, the line is well positioned. Uh, the difference is we want this one with dot line, dotted line. So I'm going to do the same. Uh, let's find it. Okay, so this is line bottom, line dotted and let's do develop it shape stroke and I'm gonna hit plus here on the dashes and that makes a dotted line and I think we can make it slightly thicker maybe three points yeah that's pretty that's pretty good and uh, that's pretty good we want it as you can see below like behind the the bars so I'm gonna take my 10 percent take my dotted line and put it right under all these guys so it's big it's, it's coming yeah behind um same for clarity we're gonna use one color for all these guys let's use maybe dark green for example it's a good one let's same for this one let's put it in dark green so let's say all our yeah background information are gonna be in dark green um let's do the other uh, lines so i'm gonna Mm, that's pretty good. Um, let's make sure we are centered. Uh, and yeah, that's a good occasion for me. As you can see, don't forget to attach all the green guys. So I'm going to select label group, select all my stuff, and I'm going to attach all to my guide as well. So we can move everything together, you know. So I'm going to use the proportional, make sure this is centered with the percentage. I'm looking at this bar and this bar and yeah. I think we are pretty much centered. That's pretty good. Uh, let's do, um, yeah, let's make more labels. Let's make the bottom lab labels. We're gonna zoom here. Let's make something not too small because uh, abstention. And this time we're gonna make it centered. Uh, let's use a font, let's use maybe, yeah, condensed bold, maybe, Helvetica, I'm working with Helvetica on this one. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna, dupli I'm duplicating this and now doing Macron. Pretty nice. Um, we will see later how to animate this. Let's do the last label, uh, these guys. So I'm going to duplicate this one and directly just to avoid confusion, I'm going to change the color of this. Let's put this in, yeah, maybe in Sion, for example, just to, so this is 26, oh, 26, 21%. And as a color, I'm going to take the background color. So it's going to make a sort of transparent, like, see through and duplicate this boom there it is um, very very important before going forward we're going to fact check all our information uh, yeah because this is exactly the type of um, of task where you can make mistakes because you are you know it's you are just doing technical copy paste and Let's first fact check this data. So abstention is 26.231, 20.07, ah yeah. 
that's fine. And let's fact check as well the bars. 26.3, that's fine. So this is good. We can now move forward to finish our graph. Um, again, let's attach everything to the guide. Uh, yeah, let's change the color of the guide just to avoid confusion. Let's put this on top. What you can do when, because we start to have a, a pretty big amount of labels, so all these guys, uh, we, we can maybe hide this with the the this icon. I don't know if it's a ghost or I don't know what is it, but if you turn this off and then, then you can press this and it's just hide it from the software, which is pretty nice because sometimes there is too much. Yeah. Uh, let's look at our reference. Uh, all of this is fine. Let's do the title and we'll see. So I'm going to turn this, make a text right here. I've prepared my data. So for the main title, here it is. Okay, come on. Uh, maybe it's because it's in the same color. So let's put it in black for now. Let's make it bigger. Let's try to imitate the style that I've done. I think I took some Helvetica light. Uh, probably Helvetica new light and all in capital. Ah, yeah, let's put it in light. And I think I cranked up the spacing as well. Maybe I think to 200 at least. Maybe even more. Let's we're gonna look later. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, let's make sure we are centered. <laughs> That's fine. Let's remove this the thing. That's good. And we need to add the, the, the baseline, which indicates a few important information. This is often imp this is very important. Like in any graph, you need to put the source. And here, as we have altered the data a little bit, we have changed the data. Like we are not presenting everything. We are presenting the, 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 the candidates who are make more than 5%, so we need to just write it down so it's not misleading. Um, and let's put it smaller. How is my reference? Yeah, a bit bolder. Let's put it like this. I think it was even smaller. 22 and I think less spacing. That should be fine. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's move the anchor point in the middle so I can reuse the scale. Yeah, that's pretty, that's not bad. Uh, and I think for design, we are good to go, right? We are almost, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, let's do a quick animation of this and we will be good to go. And it's gonna be pretty easy because we have prepared our data nicely Let's animate all our bars from, like in the example, this is going to be easy. I make sure the anchor point is low. If the anchor point is not there, you take with the Y arrow, this cursor, take it and use the command shortcut and lock it right here. And once you have done this, let's, these are hidden, I think. So I'm unhiding it with this button. And I can just come and press Alt S and it creates a keyframe for scaling. This is the final position. So I'm pushing this a bit further and I'm going to turn each of these guys to zero. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm taking it, I'm taking these one by one because if I took all together, it would also, I know it would, yeah, it would work as well, but yeah, that's fine. You can do it one, one, and two. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a quick easing just to make a, just so it's not it's a bit less boring. Let's put the ease and with quart. Let's make this a bit faster. I think a simple effect that you can do on this that I do very often is to do a bit of offset on all the animation, like 
basically do start from this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and do a sort of like a <laughs> I don't know how to say without sound effect, but the idea is to I'm gonna select these guys, push these guys for three frames, one, two, three, with the Alt key and the right arrow, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and this, yeah, it makes a nice little effect. This it's very subtle, but it's usually making a very nice impression and. Once these are there, I'm going to make also a quick animation on the percentage. Same thing, Alt T for transparency. And I can do, I think, the same. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's a bit slow. Let's make it a bit faster. Let's look, let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Maybe it can be a bit earlier. Yeah, that's pretty fine. What you could do as well is do some quick animation on these. Uh, yeah, like, anim like uh, you could do some animation, uh, opacity animation on all these guys. That could be something, but for example, we we were only doing this, so yeah, we are good to go. So that's it for these tutorials. Uh, of course, you could make this with a better design, with better animation, com more subtle and complex animation, but on, on this tutorial, it was mainly about showing to you how to take data and turn this into a bar chart. And yeah, I hope it did the job and I hope it, uh, it will be helpful to you. Have a good day.